I felt as if my legs was about to fall off. It hurt that bad. I wish I could sit down somewhere where he would catch me. Blood was pouring out of the stab wound. Finally, I gave up. I reached a dead end. I sat down leaning on the wall. I could not breathe. I realized I was moving with a lot of difficulties and pain. While he was just walking behind me, he knew I cannot run. He pulled his wrench out and was ready to strike. It was just a matter of a few seconds before my last breath. I it was like death was staring at my eyes. I was looking back to my life. It was all good until that one day. That one day I stepped into this dreadful place. It had been almost 3 hours since I have been waiting at the bus stop. The guy at the help desk said that there is only one bus that will go to the 14th street and that will arrive at 11 pm. And then there is a 3 hour long drive till the destination. I don't know why am I doing this. Stu left me 12 years ago and today he calls asking for help. I spent almost 4 years tracking my best friend but I failed. It turns out that he was only 3 hours away from the city in the middle of the woods. Anyway, I'm angry but also happy to be helping my friend. I hope he is not in big trouble. After long hours of waiting, the bus arrived. It was more like a van. It looks so hideous as if it had not been used for weeks. Before stepping in, I asked one last time to myself, should I be doing this? The driver asked, "Are you coming in or should I go?" I looked at his unpleasant face and stepped in. I sat on the front row next to the driver. Before starting to the the van, he gave a smirk and started the engine. As we were traveling in the silence, something made me uncomfortable. So I decided to talk to the driver. I told the first thing that came to my mind. "Why did you smile at me before st- starting the engine?" He replied, "Why is that necessary?" Oh, I want to know why you smile at me. Should I tell you? Yes, please. Okay. I was thinking about why do you want to go there? Why were you waiting for two hours to go to that place? Then I guessed you are visiting someone who is important to you. I presume you have a friend living there who may have not contacted you for years, as I you look so nervous. You felt a bit angry and happy at the same time. With all this, I smiled at to you, at you, to know have you been to that place before. With your reaction, I think you are not happy about visiting that street. So I guess you are not so comfortable to visit a street that is next to the woods. So you have a sharp eye. What's your name? Mayhem, sir. I'm Steve. Nice to meet you, Mayhem. And then there was a silence, and Mayhem looked as if the conversation never happened. which made me uncomfortable so i asked again why is the street so scary what what do you mean everyone thinks this place is haunted what do you think about it well i do not believe in ghosts so but why are people so scared of this place because anyone who steps in after sunset they are murdered i felt a chill run down my spine you're trying to scare me no Check it on the internet and make it quick because you won't receive any signal over there. What? I am not lying. This place is in the middle of the woods. What he said me made me even more comfort uncomfortable. I felt I should have not spoke to him. I did check on the web about the street and what may have said was true. 26 26 people have died so far. All were stabbed on their leg and then hit with a hard hit, hit hard on the head. with a hard object like a hammer or a wrench when i looked further about the serial killings there was one more thing the victim was moving like trying to escape from the killer leaving blood traces all over the place every single one of them i read about the 14th street case in depth i tried sleeping but i could not i spoke again why are you willing to drive to the street in the middle of the night because i do not fall asleep i decided i could do something useful 
and as no one is willing to go to the 14th street the demand for me will increase and i enjoy driving 6 hours is nothing actually i do not want to talk to this guy whatever comes from his mouth will not be pleasant at all time went by and finally we reached the 14th street i was wondering how to live in such a place there was an eerie eerie atmosphere surrounding me mayhem turned to me and asked are you sure you want to go in that was a very hard question i decided if stu is in danger i am the one, only one he trusts and if he asks my help after 12 years then there is something wrong i paid mayhem and got out of the van the only light available other than the dim street lights and the moon was the headlights from the van i opened the gate and stepped in and that was when my life changed the moment i placed my foot on the sinister street